Hello guys, welcome to Code with BK. So in this video, we are going to look at this problem of adding two binary numbers. So in the first part, I'm going to explain this. I'm going to show you how we are going to solve this problem. And in the second part, we are going to implement this and see how this works, right? If you're just looking for the code, there are links to the code in the description of this video. And to each code, there's a text explanation attached as well. So if you are somebody who wants to read and understand, you can look at the explanation there. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. So we have to add two binary numbers. So what are binary numbers? We'll take a quick look. So binary numbers are base two. Base two means they have two digits they can use to represent a quantity, a value, right? A number. So they have zero and one as their two digits, base two. So let's take an example. I have 1100 one, one, zero, zero and 1001. One. These are two binary numbers. So now we have to add these two binary numbers, right? So since there are only two digits available here, there are there are four possible combinations of addition. So you can have zero plus zero, zero plus one, one plus zero, and one plus one. So let's see, zero plus zero gives you zero, zero plus one gives you one, one plus zero gives you one, and one plus one gives you zero with a carry of one. So in all these other cases, your carry is zero, right? And I'll say maybe sum and so let's use these rules to add these two binary numbers. So just as we do regular addition, okay, okay. So we start from the right, go towards left, one step at a time, okay. So zero plus one basically gives me one with a carry zero, okay, with a carry zero. So now we have to do zero plus zero with a previous carry zero. So zero plus zero gives you zero, okay. Zero plus zero gives you zero and you have to add zero from the previous carry. So basically it gives you zero, okay? And the carry for the next case is also zero. Then we do one plus zero plus previous carry zero. So one plus zero basically gives you one, okay? And you add a zero to it. So it stays one and carry zero, right? So you have one with a carry zero, okay? One plus one gives you zero with carry one. 1 plus 1 gives you 0 with carry 1 and you add 0 to this so it stays 0 and carry 1 so it stays 0 and the next final carry is appended here so this is your result all right so let's convert it into decimal equivalent and see if this is correct so this is basically 12 this is 9 okay and this is 21 all right so 12 plus 9 21 so our addition is correct so what we saw in this addition is we also have to keep a track of previous carry or you can say simply carry right okay from the previous step so we'll also have to track the carry so this is the exact process we are going to code in a solution as well we start from the right end go towards left one by one and we always keep a track of the current carry so if you start here your carry starts at zero in the first step so the next question is what if the binary numbers are not of the same length? For example, if I add 1100012101, okay? All I do is append the smaller binary number with zeros, okay? On the left end, so that they have the same length. We can do addition without this as well, but doing this, it just makes it easier. So if you have two binary numbers which are not of the same length, we append zeros to the smaller binary number to make them of equal length, okay? So now we move on to the part where we we'll start coding and I'll write a pseudo code, right? That we are going to implement in a language. Okay, the first point, what data type do we use? We use strings, okay? So I'll say B1 is 1100 and B2 is 1001. So after storing the binary numbers as strings, we need to make sure that their lengths are equal. So what do we do is if length of b1 is less than length of b2 right else if length of b2 is less than length of b1 so these are the two cases in which we need to add zeros to the left of the shorter string so length of b1 is length less than length of b2 we add zeros to left of b1 because b1 is shorter in this case we add zeros to left of b2 okay now how many zeros do we add to the left of either string number of zeros to be appended is 
zeros is equals to len of b2 minus len of b1 in this case and number of zeros equals to len of b1 minus len of b2 okay so we need to add these many zeros to the left of b1 we need to add these many zeros to the left of b2 because in this case b1 is the shorter string b2 is the shorter string now we move on to the part where we start actually doing the addition so we have b1 storing our binary number we have b2 storing our binary number okay and we need to add these two so sum is an empty string store sum and then we add code to make lens equal okay so this part is the code that we just discussed to make b1 and b2 of the same length right so we start with i which basically is an integer which is length of b1 minus 1 so since length of b1 and b2 are same you can say length of b1 or you can say length of b2 okay it is going to be the same value and this is because we have to start from the right end okay so we have to move towards left so we do while i is greater than or equal to 0 okay in each iteration i gives us the binary digit at the ith index of b1 and b2 we also take a value carry which is 0 because in the example that i showed we always take care of the current carry and carry starts at 0 because in the first step we do not have any carry all right and we'll keep updating the carry carry will also be used to determine the current sum okay in the current step so what we did in each step was we had the ith digit of b1 and b2 so i say d1 is ith digit and d2 is digit at ith index of b2 so i have b which will be the sum of d1 and d2 based upon the current carry and then we'll update this carry as well based upon these rules so you can say this as d which is a sum okay and the final sum of these two string is in this variable all right so d depends upon d1 and d2 so if d1 is equals to 0 and d2 is equals to 0 in this case okay what do we do we again have two cases our current carry could be 0 our carry carry current carry could be 1 okay we start with 0 but it may be updated to 1 in one of these iterations okay so if c is equals to 0 okay and else i'll say else if c is 1 okay so 0 plus 0 gives you a 0 with a carry for the next step that is 0 but if you have if you have current carry as 0 your result is 0 and carry is 0 so d is 0 and your c is updated to c stays at 0 okay if you have c as 1 0 plus 0 gives you 0 you add 1 to this 0 you get digit as 1 and c as 0 all right c was 1 c went to 0 because 0 plus 0 plus 1 gives you 1 with a carry 0 after you calculate d and c you basically say sum is equals to digit plus sum okay we concatenate this digit d to the left of sum right and then we do i minus minus we move to the left okay so this was the case for 0 and 0 we do it for 0 and 1 if d1 is 0 d2 is 1 0 plus 1 gives us 1 okay and if our current carry is 0 so 1 plus 0 will give us 1 with carry 0 if our current carry is 1 0 plus 1 gives us 1 1 plus 1 gives us 0 with carry 1 so d is 0 carry is updated to 1 all right similarly do the case of 1 and 0 so since 1 and 0 and 0 and 1 give the same d and carry this case remains the same for 0 and 1 so 1 plus 0 basically gives you 1 plus 0 gives you 1 and carry 0 1 plus 0 gives you 1 plus 1 gives you 0 plus 1 which is this case all right the final case is 1 plus 1 so 1 plus 1 gives you 0 carry 1 to this 0 if you add 0 you get 0 so you get 0 and carry 1 in this case okay so 1 plus 1 with current carry 1 so 1 plus 1 gives you 0 
with current carry 1 gives you 1 and you already have carry 1 so you have digit 1 and carry 1 all right one final step is what if this c stays 1 at the end and it is non zero so finally if okay if c equal to 1 then we append 1 to the left of so this is how we are going to solve this problem of adding two binary numbers, right? And now I'm going to explain you in each of the codes how we achieve this. So this is our Java implementation. I've written a method add two binary numbers that takes the two strings and returns the sum of these two strings. So this method starts with a blank string sum, which will store the sum of the two strings. Before we move to addition, we have to make sure B1 and B2 are of the same lengths. So if length of B1 is less than length of B2, we add zeros to the left of B1. Else if length of B2 is less than length of B1, we add zeros to the left of B2. We start with carry equal to 0 and we start with i equal to last index of the binary strings. We go from right to left and in each iteration, I get D1 which is digit at index i in B1 and D2 which is digit at index i in B2. D stores the sum of D1 and D2 and updates carry accordingly. So the first case being 0 plus 0, so D1 is 0 and D2 is 0. If carry is 0, D and carry both remain 0. If carry is 1, D becomes 1 and carry remains 0. Similarly, the case was 0 plus 1, 1 plus 0 and 1 plus 1. Finally, when we have the digit D, we prepend it to the left of the sum and then we update I to move on to the next iteration. Finally, if we are left with a carry equal to 1, we append 1 to the left of the sum and finally we return the sum. Let us run this and check. So I get 12 plus 9 is equal to 21. Let me change these values to say 10 plus 20. So 10 plus 20 should give me 30. So I'll compile again. I'll run again. So 10 plus 20 gives me 30. So I hope you found this video helpful. So please do like this video, subscribe to my channel. Please let me know in the comments if there is anything not clear to you in this video, if there is a concept you want me to discuss or if there is a question you want me to solve. Thank you.